Tammy McDonald here. I'm the service advisor at East URV in Timmins, Ontario. And beside me, I have Kyle Raff. A TSSA certified RV1 technician. And we're here to tell you the importance of a 25-point inspection. At this time of the year, when your thoughts about closing up your campers, um, bring your unit into us. We'll do a 25-point inspection, giving you peace of mind going into the uh, winter and into the spring months, um, having the 25-point inspection done. If you're looking at buying a second-hand trailer or a new trailer to you, come and see us. We can do a 25-point inspection. Would you buy a home without having it inspected by a house inspector? I don't think so. Come and see us and we'll give you a peace of mind with our 25-point inspection. Hey guys, Kyle here again. Uh, we're about to take you through the entire process of what we look at when we do a 25-point inspection to better your trailer and better your understandings of what might actually be wrong with your trailer. Follow me. So uh, a few things on our list for the 25-point uh, inspection. Uh, one of the first things we actually check are, of course, your actual uh, propane regulator in the front. We make sure it's adjusted properly, that you have the proper pressure to run not only your appliances, but of course your back barbecue, uh, your furnace and everything. So we make sure that's actually calibrated and not causing any extra stress, let's say, on your appliances that can potentially harm them in the future. Alongside of that, of course, we also test and re-grease the front jack as well, whether of course it's a manual like in this case, or if it's an electric one. In the front section here, we also do a full battery test. So we actually load a megger onto the battery, which will give us a printout receipt stating if the actual cells of your battery are good or not. Because a lot of times when you test a battery, you only look for voltage. A bad battery can still show 12 to 13 volts, but when you put a load to it, there won't be any current flow. So we do check that. At this point here too, we check your converter leads. So with the battery disconnected, you should still have 13.6 volts coming out of your leads to the battery. If you don't have voltage there, that means your converter is blown. So we check that as well. If you guys thought all we would check in a 25 point would be your front end, your battery and everything, you're absolutely wrong. We check your stabilizer jacks here as well, grease if needed of course. We check your electric or manual awning, whichever you have. And on this particular unit, they don't have them, but we would also check your slide toppers if you have those installed on in your unit, which you can buy at East URV. Of course, we would grease and adjust your steps if needed. Going more towards the back here, of course, you'll see the tires. We check thread level, tire pressure, all four bearings get checked. Underneath the unit, we actually check to make sure your leaf springs are still fine, your shackles are okay, your axles have the proper angle and proper placement. Moving more towards the back, of course, we would make sure your outside GFI is still properly working under a certain load difference. And then you would have your second stabilizer set jacks in the back as well, which would most likely need greasing as well. All right, guys, and as you guessed, the list just keeps on going. Uh, so at the back of the unit here, of course, we obviously check your spare tire, not only the tires that are on the ground, but the ones that are actually strapped to the back of the unit to make sure you don't lose it driving down the highway. Uh, of course, tire pressure as well. You'll notice here of the hot water tank on the back. So that kind of goes back to the front regulator test as well, because inside your hot water tank, not a lot of people know, but there is a breather. We have to make sure you're getting the proper flame size, the proper flame color, and sound on your flame. Uh, if you have an electric tank and a propane tank, that would actually be a double test on this guy. Moving away from the hot water tank, you'll notice here, which some people don't know they have, this is actually a spray port. So of course we test the internal valve of it to make sure that the water is not going to jump out of it when you go to turn your pump or anything on. That all goes back into the water system test. And then of course you'll notice right above that and above me as well, uh, during the test we actually check to make sure all your tail lights are working, brake lights, the signal lights, and of course your electronic brakes as well. Still going. So of course you'll see here, you have your uh, shore power inlet. So obviously we make sure you don't have any shorts or water damage on the inside to obviously create a power surge or anything of that sort. Uh, you'll notice the fridge vent here a lot of people never really actually look inside of here, which can potentially cause a lot of harm to the fridge and actually what's inside your unit. Because on the inside here, which just so happens, it happened to me this morning on another 25 point, 
if you don't make sure the venting or anything's fine in here, you may get a wasp nest build up in there, which as a technician, I can tell you is not very fun at all. Then of course, under the fridge vent, you'll notice that we have the furnace exhaust here, goes back to the regulator pressure adjustment, where we, of course, we make sure you have the proper exhaust and flow on your furnace. Whoa, a couple steps back over here, you'll notice the outside shower. So of course, we make sure the shower head doesn't have any cracks or and or leaks in it. And for the final water check, we actually, of course, check to make sure your fresh water tank is still fine, as well as your city water connection. Because if the valve goes on your city water connection, you'll be in big trouble. Now we're actually going to check, if not the most important step on our 25 point inspection, uh, whether it's your lap sealant on the roof or the silicone on your side walls and caps. What we look for are small little cracks, pinholes, uh, older brittleness, or if it's simply just missing or chunks are gone. Uh, we have seen in the past uh, that birds actually like to eat the lap sealant. They'll fly down, take one chunk, and of course, you have no idea they did. Well, that little pinhole will cause a big disaster. Same thing on the sidewalls. If you have a small pinhole or a small crack, one drip of water every hour can cause upwards of $10,000 damage to a sidewall or a front cap within a matter of weeks, months, a year, even if it's a new unit, 2019, or whether it's a 1934 used unit. You have to make sure your lap sealant and your silicone is up to date. We're almost done, guys, I promise. So once we're on the interior of the unit, uh, we actually check all of your major appliances, such as your AC, uh, your microwave, your range fan, your stove top, and of course beside me, your fridge on electric as well as propane. Not only that inside. Inside, of course, we want to make sure you're safe when camping as well as having a fun time. So we go through all the safety advisories, whether it be for your fire extinguisher, smoke detectors, your CO detectors, and of course your propane detector. So we make sure those are all still safe and certified and of course functioning. All right guys, that finally concludes what we go through on a 25 point inspection. To book yours now, call or come visit us at 3449 Highway 101 West in Timmins, just past the Camas Scotia Highway, or at 384 Government Road East in Capas Casing. East View RV, right RV, right service, right now.